I'm Derek Hansen, park manager at Wilga State Park in Wethersfield, Vermont, and proud to be at a park that's the only developed state park along the Connecticut River. Colonel William J. Wilgus, a fairly renowned civil engineer, owned the property and donated it to the state in the early 30s. His vision was to create a spot where people could stop and picnic along the river. There were stone fireplaces and a caretaker's residence built in 1935. And over the years, camping and expansion have happened as more people are enjoying the recreation opportunities the river gives us. Here at the park, we've got 15 tent and trailer sites, six lean-to sites, a group area with three lean-tos, and also four cabins, which are super popular. Cabins are furnished with a bunk bed and futon, table and chairs. They do have electricity, and then you have a fire ring and picnic table outside the cabin. There's very limited access along the river, but to have facilities, hot showers, and a place to camp really draws people to this park. We're one of the smaller parks, so there's not an extensive trail system. We do have a nature trail that goes along the old picnic area and some of the stone fireplaces and a river walk that goes the length of the park. And we also have a mile loop that goes up the Pinnacle Trail. Being on the river is our main draw. We have boat rentals. If you wanted to haul the boat upstream to see a little bit more of the river, you can do that. But most people will just paddle upstream from the park and then come back to us. We also have a local outfitter called Great River Outfitters and they will come and pick you up at the park, shuttle you upstream, drop you off, and then you float or paddle back at your own leisure. One of the interesting structures along this stretch of the Connecticut River is the Cornish Windsor Covered Bridge, originally constructed back in 1866, and at that time, up until 2008, was the longest covered bridge in the country. There is a boat launch on the New Hampshire side of the river that floats you underneath the covered bridge with beautiful scenic views of Mount Scutney as well. We're located along a major flyway for migratory birds. We get a lot of Canadian geese. You also have kingfishers, blue heron. We've got bald eagles that can be spotted frequently. Out in the river, we've got smallmouth bass, northern pike, walleye, largemouth, some native trout and some stock trout. With our proximity in relation to Interstate 91, that's an easy trip up from Boston, Connecticut, New York. People can get out of the city, hit the interstate, and be up here within two hours. It never seems like work, and having the knowledge and experience out on the river, having that as part of my job to tell people about it and listen to their stories when they come back really makes it a neat experience.